Here's your host, Alex Garrett. Well, I'm actually on the outside world today, uh, high atop uh, Brooklyn, actually, in Greenpoint. But, but, but that's a, besides the point. Do you know Alex Garrett Podcasting has reached overall between adapting with Alex Garrett, between having uh, the Keep It Real podcast, between and that used to be covering the bases, between the Sports Hour, between the Sunday Pod, Saturday Sit Down, and all the various playlists that we've created, uh, there's a total of 1,000 podcasts that have been recorded through this very uh, app Spreaker. And again, I wouldn't do it if I wasn't encouraged by what you guys continue to do, which is listen, download. You know what's funny about that, though? The subscription numbers for Alex Garrett Podcasting are still down. We've got to get those numbers up. I, I look at this stat thing, like, obsessively, and I see almost 25,000 plays. We're almost there. And by the way, tomorrow Kevin Miller will join me as the Pentagon is mandating military to be vaccinated and how his book, White Skies Black Mingo, uh, dealt with disease among Native Americans. We'll have him tell that story tomorrow. But for now, this is episode 1001 of Alex Garrett Podcasting. We got past episode 666 of Keep Your Real with Alex Garrett. Now we're talking episode 1001 overall. Couldn't do it without you guys. So thank you for listening all the time and and being there all the time. And by the way, Zach Miller, yes, you were my thousandth episode guest. And it was good to dedicate some of that thousandth episode to Mike Gallagher and his family and you know, Radio Tucker, Mike, and the trouble with Trevor, and how he's adapted to a power wheelchair now, but hopes to walk, of course. But overall, on the day I celebrate my eighth year at AM 970 The Answer, which, by the way, was the catalyst for me starting a podcast, what 970 The Answer has done the last eight years is shown me another side to the news is shown me another side to what's going on M570 the mission to what's going on with our tax paying dollars I took that other side and I vocalized it I took that other side and I said what can I do what can we do to be more informed in this generation and so in just seven years and a few months like seven months Guess what? Guess what? We're reaching a thousand and one total podcasts. That's a big win. That's a ginormous win. For this team, for my friend's family, and and for you listeners, you just keep coming by. And I'm very appreciative of that. But if it wasn't for 57970, 1,001 episodes would not be possible. Because they wouldn't, I wouldn't have gotten the idea. I would have been stuck in sports. But being unstuck in sports, I was able to branch out, adapt the podcast, and adapt my mentality. I said, let's do something with this. And here we are. Are. And I'm hoping to get some big names. I'm hoping to get Rudy Rudiger. I'm in my Notre Dame shirt today. I'm hoping to get Rudy Rudiger on to talk about his time making Rudy the movie, uh, his time as Rudy, and his time watching his favorite team after being on his favorite team, Notre Dame. Graham Bensinger, a few others among the list that I have in mind. And I hope that happens. And, uh, and you'll, of course, hear about it. <laughs> Now, if you hear a puppy, that's uh, a friend of mine's dog, uh, a close friend of mine's pup, and um, I'll just say my girlfriend's pup, and uh, and so she's we're all hanging out, and uh, she's just having the time of her life as I'm podcasting up here. But that being said, 
what is my 1,000th one episode going to be? I was wondering what it was going to be because, well, you never run out of ideas. Not when you see Melissa DeRosa jump the ship in Albany, the now former secretary, seemingly disgraced secretary of Governor Cuomo. If that doesn't tell you anything, she was mentioned. And then we had another, another resignation today in the Cuomo situation, in the Cuomo scandal. According to the New York Post, Time's Up boss, Barbara Kaplan, resigned after she tried. Time's Up, by the way, is this big, big sexual harassment fighting organization, right? So any woman should be believed, right? Oh no, not when it comes to Andrew Cuomo, not when it comes to Roberta Kaplan. She resigns after efforts to discredit Cuomo victim, which is noted in the Attorney General's report, Letitia James' report. So... The sinking, the ship continues to sink. Folks continue to abandon the ship. And I'll tell you what that leads me to talk about for a minute. And I haven't approached them to advertise, so don't worry. I'm not, I'm kind of just doing this off the cuff. I want to talk to you about Smart Cleaner. It's an actual app which can eradicate duplicate photos, duplicate videos, and duplicate anything called Smart Cleaner, two words, and I just got rid of duplicates, 434 screenshots, okay? That's a lot of duplicates. So, my suggestion is to take a try, and, and you know, un- you know they do cost 35 bucks a month, which I'm paying right now, but Smart Cleaner can eradicate your waste in that phone and save you battery life. I mean, there's there's one thing to have constant number of tabs and open uh, open whatever. Uh, tabs, I guess I'm, I'm trying to say. Even open Safari tabs. But there's another to have duplicate photos and duplicate videos that you don't need in your system for the moment that you can delete. So, just like I hope they clean out Albany, I hope you take a crack at Smart Cleaner. Because those, you know, the efforts to clean up Albany and the efforts to clean up your phone, they're kind of parallel. Both are messy. Both need to be cleaned out. And Smart Cleaner can do the trick. So, download the app. It's Smart Cleaner. It's presented by... As I look at the actual app name, Smart Cleaner. It's number one worldwide, apparently. It's got a four and a half star rating on... Apple, developed by BP Mobile, the number one worldwide cleaning app that will remove them in a few taps. So I'm glad I tried it. I'm glad I'm podcasting you about it. I'll I'll rate them here. And uh, I might write a review. Because I actually believe in what they're doing. So, just very cool to have this app, Smart Cleaner, developed by BP Mobile. Hey, BP Mobile, can you also clean up Albany, please? Can we get a Smart Cleaner for politics? (laughs) Because I'm getting pretty tired of having to work on this podcast to clean up the messes ourselves. Right, Zach? Right, Zach Williams? Right, guys? We just want to clean up our political waste and corruption And on this 1,000 first episode, I'm calling on an actual app to help us do that. 
And I don't mean clean like a physical clean. I mean wipe us out. Wipe out the corruption by telling us, giving us apps that have detailed stories about our uh, polit- political candidates because Lord knows we need some information to help us clean out Albany right now. But yes, BP Mobile, Smart Cleaner. I didn't know I'd dedicate my 1,000th first episode on my podcast to this app, but I said, man, it's fitting right now. We've got Albany that's a mess. We've got phones that have duplicate photos and screenshots and videos. Clean out your phone, people. You wonder why I die so much. Clean the damn phone out, and Smart Cleaner can help you. And uh, maybe there'll be a sponsor here. Who knows? But this is a benchmark. I didn't know I was at a thousand podcasts in all the different realms under the Alex Garrett podcasting umbrella. But here we are. And I don't know where 1,000 plus go, but this is episode 1001. You have made it. I have made it to the 1,001st episode. And there's so much to come. I really do believe the governor will resign. He has almost no choice at this point. And, you know, it'd be nice if this guy got out of office. And again, to die on the hill of sexual harassment is very huge. But there's so much more about him that you, you, we got to investigate. And, and maybe the DeRosa resignation is the start of something better. People say, but if he leaves, the state will be in tumult. If he stays, the state will be in tumult. I really believe that because you've got tons of leadership on the Republican and Democratic side saying he needs to be cleaned out of Albany yesterday. Maybe there's a better tomorrow. And yes, on the eighth year going into ninth at Salem Media New York, I want to say thank you to them, Curtis, Frank, McCullough, Piscopo, all you guys. If it wasn't for bringing this that on board, this podcast may not exist because I was very, very eight years ago, I was very determined to talk sports and only sports. And then I saw how our tax just day taxpaying dollars are being used and I said something's got to change something's got to give and so give this a listen continue to give this a listen I'm Alex Garrett we're always adapting we're always keeping you up to date and we're bringing you things that nobody I I don't think are tra- I don't my, my whole catch line nowadays is I'm bringing you things that are that are should be trending but are not and uh And we're going to help them trend. Just like Smart Cleaner app. I'm Alex Garrett. Have a beautiful rest of your Monday. We'll talk to you again real soon.